Good morning. It's July. It's July 20th. Where have I been? What have I been doing? The answer is not a lot, but also significant things. The last video I put up and the last entry I have in my lab notebook is around June 10th. I have been absent for five weeks. I'm so sorry about that. I have a lot of miscellaneous clips of things that have happened, but there is nothing significant enough to warrant making weekly videos. So here we are making essentially a really boring recap. I was hoping to spice up this video by at the end opening a replica gray wolf skull that I ordered in the mail that I've named Fido because it's a dog and I think I'm hilarious. Fido hasn't come in the mail yet, so um... It's two days later and I lied. Where have I been? What have I been doing? Well, for starters, I've moved from home to campus, if you can't notice from the beautiful plain walls and college comforter. All right, I'm just gonna start that recording. I am at Purdue now, and I moved down around July 1st. I was down the week before, however, with a friend who was in town, so we drove down to Purdue, and I actually dropped off Jaws early. Um, hello from my dorm room. Sorry for the now terrible quality of video. I'm on my phone, but I just thought to say that Jaws safely made it to Purdue and is chilling under my bed. So Jaws has actually been living under my bed since late June. Yeah. So after that, I was home for about a week just, you know, doing things, seeing family, etc. And then I officially moved into campus. And since then, I have been battling with the American mail system. I had to return 20 pounds of silicone rubber that I ordered kind of impulsively and very much regret. Hello, I'm in the lab now. And this is 20 pounds of silicone rubber that I figured out I don't need. So today's task is returning the silicone rubber so that way I can order a skull replica. So I was trying to figure out how I was going to make these skull casts and I realized that when you make a mold and you have the original structure, you have to be able to pull the silicone in like two pieces or alternatively one piece out of every single nook and cranny, which with a skull, it's a little hard to do, and I don't think for my first time trying to cast stuff that I need to be fairly accurate that I should be doing that. And I actually have a good deal of grant money, well, more than I thought I would have anyway, so I think the like $150 replica is worth it for the quality that will be infinitely better than me fussing around with silicone. So I'm in the lab now, which is kind of fun. There's no AC right now because I can't reach the thing to turn it on. But like, we're having fun. It's great. We're great. So I just talked to the lady on the phone and this is going to sound terrible because I am an introverted Gen Z who doesn't really do very much that requires ordering packages. I get to figure out how to return a package for the first time in my life. I'm almost 20. I should probably know how to do that by now. Yeah, so I talked to her on the phone. She's going to send me a return tag. So everything should be fine and we should not have to deal with this sitting in the lab. In the future, maybe I'll get some more silicone and like reorder if I decide I wanna cast anything myself. Just right now, that's not practical, especially I just, I need a skull to size out how jaws will go together. I just really want something that's really accurate. I found a site uh, that sells real skulls and replica skulls for actually a pretty decent price. That'll be a little bit more expensive, but just I think the accuracy is worth it. There's a lot of boring Jaws stuff. I wish I was doing something more interesting right now, but unfortunately, sometimes you just have to do logistical things. I got to figure out for the first time how to send mail from Purdue because I was a freshman last year during COVID. I learned nothing. I successfully returned 20 pounds of silicone rubber, which was great. And now I know where the UPS store is on campus. After that, it became apparent that I needed to order the skull replica that I was going to order instead of making molds. So I decided, heck with it, 
we're gonna get a replica gray wolf skull and i ordered that shortly after i returned the silicone rubber i've been back to the lab several times to see if fido has arrived and the last fido has not it's pretty disappointing no matter i've still been doing other things for example i went to the hardware store and bought a lot of bolts lock nuts, screws, and also some shims because I thought it was my garage floor, but no, Jaws is just a little crooked. It's a manufactured sawhorse, so we're gonna fix that. The bolts, however, are for a multitude of things. They are for mounting the winch, which is also down there. They are for mounting the skull to the moving arm, and they're also for mounting the skull to the actual table. And I have a plan to go to Bechtel. Uh, Bechtel Innovation Center is a student friendly, basically manufacturing shop on campus. They have a ton of different things like a laser cutter and a lathe and so many things that I should know the names of going into uh, engineering, but I don't. I just need a drill press, that's it. So I emailed them, I was like, hey, you have a drill press? Cause I have all my other tools here. I brought them, they're in a backpack under my bed, but I can't bring a drill press to school. And I was like, hey, do you have a drill press? And they're like, yeah, we have a drill press go through our application process, and then maybe we'll let you use the drill press. I have that to do. And then eventually I have to start looking for the springs and how that's gonna work. I have looked at Arnold on several occasions. Arnold hasn't been mentioned in a while. For those who don't know, Arnold is our percussion machine in the LCA, and Jaws is gonna kind of be his uh, really beefy little cousin. Arnold's springs are mounted in a certain way that I think would be viable for Jaws, so I am going to try to mirror that. So uh, I have to find springs and I have to find, I have some eye hooks for the moving arm, but I have to find bolts for the actual sawhorse in order to mount those. I also have to find some sandbags because I have discovered why engineers work in teams. Because one person responsible for all of everything is a lot of work. I enjoy working hard, that's not the problem. The problem is I don't necessarily have the ability to step back and look at the bigger picture because I've been so engrossed with all the little details. It was brought to my attention by my lovely boyfriend who I was showing Jaws and I was asking him about bolts because I don't know very much about bolts and I was asking him like what kind of bolts I would need, etc, etc. And he goes, you, you do know Newton's laws, right? Every action has an equal opposite reaction. And I was like, of course. And he said, well, if you have all of this force coming down through the moving arm, well, you're gonna have just as much force from your springs bringing the table up. So Jaws could do a backflip, which is really sick. Like that would be really cool, but also really bad. So I have to buy a lot of sandbags. That's like a later problem though. It's still a problem that needs to be addressed, and I've learned why engineers work in teams. It's been kind of stagnant, but every project has its stagnations. I am working with Bechtel to try to figure out how to use their drill press. I'm trying to find a workspace that won't bother my RA or any of the lab equipment. But things are progressing. Things are happening. It's just taking time. Things are going. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to not have to worry about <laughs> bringing Jaws down campus. Jaws is here. Jaws is safe. I'm excited. I can kind of see there's a light at the end of the tunnel, you know? There's still a lot that has to be done before then, but it's not an idea in my head anymore. It's like a real thing that actually exists, which is really cool. And I've learned so much. I've made a lot of mistakes because I, <laughs> if I'm completely honest, I went into this not knowing what I was doing. I have experience building sets in from high school, so I have experience with woodworking, but it was mostly just drills and screws. Now I feel confident with bolts, different drill bits that I hadn't used. I feel like I understand my physics class a lot more. Yeah, I'm really excited for this to be finished. I'm so scared it's going to break itself because there's still a lot that has to be done. And it very well could break itself. Regardless of what happens, I've learned a lot and I, this has just made me more excited to get into the College of Engineering. Fingers crossed that I'll get in the fall. But anyway, that's my big update. Thank you for watching and listening. I know the journey has been stagnant, I know it's been kind of rough, and I know it doesn't look like I know what I'm doing, which is fair. A lot of this is guesswork, but it's educated guesswork. Hopefully the next video you'll see will be a little bit more interesting and there will, more will have been accomplished. But who's to say? It really depends on a lot of things that are out of my control. Here's to hoping that by the fall, Jaws will be a little bit more than just <laughs> wooden pieces under my bed. Fido's here.
hello. I have a box. It's already been opened. But I feel like from the side logo on the box, you can tell what it is. It's Fido. Fido came this morning, and I was like, well, I haven't put out that video yet that I was going to make, so I'm just going to put Fido in it. And everything's already opened because I opened it at the lab because there were people there. They were all excited, and it was great. And Trevor got to watch me struggle with scissors for way too long, and you don't have to. That's something only Trevor has to witness. The boy! Here's the boy! Sit up, bed. Come here, boy! Here's the boy! Boy is rubber banded shut because boy's jaws are separate, which is gonna be fun to figure out. This is Fido. Fido is a gray wolf, also known as a Siberian wolf, apparently. We googled it and found out they're the same thing because I had a crisis when I looked at the box and it said Siberian wolf instead of gray wolf. But like, hello, it works. And it comes in pieces, which is very nice for attaching bolts, but also not very nice because I have to figure out how to get them to stay together so I can run trials. I should just be able to put a bolt through it and pray. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, but yeah, Fido's here, Fido's real. Fido's gonna need to get sanded down so I can use a drill press on Fido. This is, this is good. <laughs> My roommate's just watching me stroke a fake wolf skull while she's in chem class. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like the, the evil villain that like turns around in the spin chair and is like, hello, come to talk business. Anyway, that's my week. I get to go talk to Bechtel now and be like, hi, can I use your drill press to drill holes in a fake skull? Thanks. I'm so excited. I figure that's a good way to end a, a boring video, so.